I'm now going to a reading for the lovely star sign of Capricorns and we always have to sing for Capricorns. So my lovely Capricorns, let's get into your reading this week and dive into the movie book of answers and get a quotation out of here to start with for your overall energy. There's some things in this world you just got to face and it's from the film Cat on a Hot Tin Roof and the character is Maggie. There's some things in this world you just got to face. So there's something that you can't put off this week. It's got to be done. Okay. It could be an exam that you're sitting, a test that you're sitting. Okay. So whatever it is, you've got to be facing something this week. Let's just grab my Oracle deck and let's have a look what's coming out in that for you. Capricorn. We have, wow, destination. Changes are in the winds. You're on the right tracks at last. So that's a really positive card, okay? So you've been steered somewhere this week, okay? So let's grab this week's book and let's have a look what's coming out for you. What have we got for Capricorns? And the first page that comes out for you, my lovelies, is, wow, look, see? Serendipity. Something's fated for you this week, Capricorn coming in a lucky streak is also coming in so we have the four leaf clover so very very positive energy the next card that comes in for you is the two of cups okay two heads are better than one this week somebody could help you with a decision on something that's very very important celebration that's due soon as well something to do about some information that comes into the home environment. This could be due to do with it around younger children. So if you've got any sort of children around you in your family, there's some good news coming in around progress to do with a situation around them. I feel like as well there's a true identity coming out on the horizon as well for some of you. I just feel you could be offering advice to somebody this week yourself. Just feel somebody who's got some issues around them because I look at the red in this card sort of seeks advice from you or somebody around your family unit this week okay we then have the card of fear and this creeps in on a situation you could have a decision to make this week and it's only fear that is holding you back. Don't let fear hold you back this week. It could be to do with a financial situation and you think to yourself, just really I'm going to be scraping there just to about to afford to buy this or I'm really going all out here. But don't have the fear, okay, because... When we live in fear, we restrict our living environment. And I was listening to somebody recently on YouTube called Jake Ducey, and I will put the link in the description box here because it's a really key lesson to learn about how people go about saying, oh, I need to cut back, okay? I need to cut back now. Um, Got to live within my means and what have you and all this. And yeah, you have to live within your means to a certain standard without getting sort of way in debt. But I'm not going to go into it here. I'm going to drop the link below and I want you to have a listen to his channel. He's, he's a real guru, this chap is. And obviously he was learnt by the old um, Bob Proctor who's just recently passed away. But comes out with some really valid information. So I, I won't babble on anymore. Just check out the link below. It's well worth a watch. So yeah, fear, you've got to drop the fear and you'll realise when you've watched that link. So there's some homework for you this week, Capricorn. We then have the animal spirits coming in of the cobra coming in with the elephant. The elephant is the alchemical sign of fire and so is the cobra. There's something got your attention. Now this could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be a house move, it could be anything like that and it's like, I really want this. Okay, it's this fire in your belly, this passion, this 
charging in with the elephant, okay, of I am really, really focused on this. I really want this, okay? Very strong, passionate, fiery, wanting energy. And that's why the fear card came out. I'd say be fearless and go for whatever this is because it's the right time to do it. We then have the web weaver and it's synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. Whatever the cause is will bring a big effect. So the web weaver. Synchronicities, we get them all the time. Pay attention because it's saying the divine is the web weaver. Fate comes in. Serendipity came in at the start. There is something this week that is fated for you. A change, um, a sign, a symbol to say drop the fear and follow your passions. Okay? Because it will cause the right effect in this case. Oh, wow. What a lovely card. And we've got family. And obviously, if you haven't got a family, it's just about feeling happy, having that happiness, okay? Feeling united, feeling at home. A beautiful energy. Feeling happy. I just want to go happy with the family card. A happy energy around you. And then we have astral travel. And this is saying caution needed now. But I feel in this instance, caution's needed because it's showing the body here. And it's also showing the mind. And astral travel is about sleep, because we sort of, those who can experience, well, dreams in an effect are a kind of astral traveling process. But caution needed around sleep. I don't feel some of my... Capricorns are getting enough sleep and it's saying you need to address this. Your mind could be sort of overloaded at the moment with things that are going on. But I feel there's areas of the body that are sort of suffering because of a lack of sleep or this worrying over, this worrying mindset. We then have the beautiful cards of healing the earth and it's love, humility and respect. And this is the card from your guides, angels and spirits. So I'm just going to have a look at this card for a second. Healing the earth. I do feel this is sort of this fated angel serendipity type energy that is focusing around your world at the moment trying to bring back in love and respect sort of saying respect your respect yourself respect your worth okay you're being protected capricorn And then the message from your guides, angels and spirits says, emotional transformation, release, freedom. It is safe for you to express how you feel. Let it all out. Relationships deepen as a result. So purple is of the spiritual realms anyway. And this is where I feel fate is coming in here. You're looking for this. This one word in this card is all that focuses to me. You are after freedom. You're after happiness, freedom and love. As it said in that first card, love and feeling happy. We then have, wow, look, broken heart. So some of you have gone through this process in the past few months. Felt broken. Okay, felt unloved, not happy, in a bad situation.
You could be missing somebody, okay? You may have passed over recently. But this is what you've got to repair. We've got a nine here coming to a 10. So I wanna say you've gone through this and you are now sort of starting to heal this process. Your inner psyche comes out with innocence, page of hearts, and this is renewal. Starting again, okay? Coming back to life. There's fish that swim around this tree and it's like a very um, wacky kind of energy, but this is the emotional turmoil that you have been in of late. But then the force of energy is renewed and we've got this light shining around your aura and it's pink of love comes back into your world this is your spirit speaking to you saying you've gone through it but hang in there because you're coming back to life and love is coming back in and you're feeling the love as well that is being offered around you. The universe want to bring in then Knight of Trees, Custodian and Five of Air. Custodian here, however, is getting back to your own roots, getting back to your own beliefs, getting grounded. Going within, finding a calmness and you're being lifted out of an environment, a tricky environment. She walks a tightrope here, blindfolded, but she has all these doves of peace around her. So you are being protected and you are being guided at the moment, Capricorn. And the last card to come out for you is motivation from the fairies. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say, get busy and do it. In other words, drop the fear factor, okay? Beautiful energy here of pink, love, motivation. So things are fated that are coming in for the better, for the good, and it's a beautiful reading. So, my lovely Capricorns, I hope you can take something from that this week. Don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs because there could be further messages in there. And until next time, you take care of yourself. Bye then.